One of the things that you'll realize if you are running a business selling physical products is that inventory management is key. And yes, there are other problems you'll face, but uh, in this video, we answer the question, at what point should you order for more units of whatever it is that you're selling? Okay, so let's assume that you're selling spare parts or you're dealing with automobile parts, okay? Obviously, you're dealing with a number of parts. Either way, you need to know when to order so that you don't have to turn down your clients, right? So first of all, you'll need to know the demand of these spare parts in a given year, meaning you need to keep records of each type of um, you know, spare parts and uh, at what rate they are bought. This is what you're going to refer to as demand. So let us put this demand to be 2,000 units in a year. So when do you know that it's time to order for more units? Remember, you cannot just order blindly because this just means incurring pointless costs. What you need to know next is lead time. Okay, that is the time it would take between placing an order and actually receiving those items. If you are employed but are in charge of the same, you also need to factor in the time taken by your purchasing department to execute these orders. That is assuming you are employed in a business that deals in the same but you are the person who is in charge of, say, procurement. So let us assume that the total number of days is uh, 5 days. Next, you need to know how many days the manufacturer works in a year. This is just a simple logic, okay? You don't want to add their days off as part of your lead time. Now let us assume that they work for 250 days in a year. So this information, you can just ask the manufacturers and they'll tell you. So in order for you to figure out your reorder point, you need to use this formula, okay? Demand per year divided by number of working days per year, multiply that by the lead time. So in our example here, we say that your demand was 2000 and they're working for 250 days and uh, the lead time is five days. So that will be 2000 divide by 250 multiplied by 5 and that means 40 units meaning you should order for new spare parts when your spare parts hit 40 okay so this can be applied to anything i mean if you're selling whatever product you're selling you just need to figure out the demand the lead time and uh, the you know how many days your suppliers are working for in a given year so that is one of the ways to figure out when to order for more okay let me know what you think and i'll see you in the next lesson